Hey everybody, John here. This video is going to be a quick tip about Fruity Balance automation. Now I've seen some posts and some things in some forums where people will generally automate the fader itself for volume automation or maybe the pan knob itself for pan automation. And I want to show you in this video a little bit of a better way to go about this. So here I have set up just a pad with four different chord changes and then I have a lead playing the same thing, but it's going to be an arpeggio. So if you drop down this list here, I have this automation track that's fading in and then going here at the uh, at the normal volume. Now, I decided not to do this on the fader itself because one of the first reasons is I have this, uh, this plug in here, Fruity Balance, on the lead channel. And that's what's going to be automated, so the volume itself. Now the reason this is here instead of the fader is I can keep this curve and this automation the same all the time, but now I still have access to my fader. So if I like the automation that I did and I don't want to, or I want to change the volume, maybe it's too loud or not loud enough, I don't want to have to go into the automation itself and then adjust everything exactly the same, but just a little bit louder and a little bit quieter. Because sometimes you might have your automation set perfectly and you just want to adjust the volume itself. So with this, if you select your lead and then you select a plugin and you go to, or I mean, add, mine says replace, but go to Fruity Balance. Uh, it might be in a different spot for you, but uh, where is it here? Fruity Balance and then automate this parameter itself. So you'd highlight your section here, right click the volume and then create the automation clip. So now, we can see this automating here. And then now it's back to this default. And now with this lead, I can adjust this overall volume and I can still keep this relative uh, information of the volume automation there. And what's nice about the Fruity Balance is you also have a pan knob as well. So let's right click this here and then let's create an automation clip under that. And to keep things organized, what I would suggest you to do is maybe drag this down below it, right click that track and press G to group it to the track above. That way you can quickly hide and not have to see your automation all the time and you can also know which clips go where so it's a little easier way to stay organized so with this balance here let's uh put a point here in the center right there and then let's maybe right click this and let's go to a wave for example and let's drag this wave kind of up and down and then we're going to adjust maybe the volume kind of like this and bring this all the way down like that So it's a little offbeat here. Let's drag this over kind of like that. And then maybe let's make this a little bit slower like that. So here, this uh, let's put this over at 50% right there. So we can see on the top left. And then maybe make this about, no, let's drag it up all the way for just for the effect sake of it. So we can really make sure what's happening. And we can watch this knob here and see what it's doing as well. So now it's kind of tilting it over to the right. And then it's moving left and right. And then we can drag the center here and make it go really fast if we'd like to. If you're wearing headphones, that kind of makes you feel a little bit dizzy. But anyway, this is basically a little bit better process to do volume and uh, pan automation. This plugin is really helpful. So hopefully you try to do this and it'll help your mixes out a little bit better. And that'll conclude this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in a future video.